Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager, here once again with another video on the Flash Season 6. And, uh, oh boy, this is something I was hoping would happen, but wasn't, I was sort of losing hope that it was ever going to happen in regards to us getting any sort of photos for it. Um, you know, because the days were ticking down for episode one in regards to how many days I have left of filming. And I was like, okay, it's not going to happen. But, uh, yeah, it, uh, it finally happened. So, like, I think like it was maybe like a week or so ago, maybe, you know, it was actually probably more like a week and a half ago, we had like the script cover and stuff and we were able to see through the script cover for episode one. Uh, we know that the episode's called Into the Void, but we were able to um, find out that a few, uh, new, a few new characters were going to be in episode one, but a returning character from last season was, of course, going to be that of Godspeed. So as soon as we saw that, everyone was excited. He was down the bottom of the, like, uh, the cast list. So people were sort of like unsure as to like, you know, like what his role was going to be in regards to episode one. Like, was it going to be a big role? Was it going to be a bit of a smaller role? Like the people were sort of confused and just a bit unsure what was going to happen with Godspeed in episode one, or if it even could just be like some sort of like new flashback or something, you know, with the character, we were sort of unsure what was going to happen there. Because obviously, if you remember from last season, when we first met him in the Nora episode, which was just, you know, called Godspeed, he was in the future. He was in 2049, and, like, that's where August Hart was. It wasn't, like, some different, you know, character or something like that. It, this was legitimately August Hart in the future in 2049. August Hart is Godspeed in the comics. So, you know, when all that stuff happened in, in Season 5, you know, you could argue that it was, like, a smart choice to maybe close the door on the character and maybe they weren't too sure what to do with him in maybe like a, you know, in a longer run for the character. So they thought, okay, we'll just use him in this episode, make people happy because people wanted to see him, and then just end it there. So his appearance in season five made people a bit unsure whether he was going to come back or anything like that, but he was sort of defeated in a very disappointing way, which, you know, disappointed people. So I think a lot of people wanted to, you know, to give the character a second chance for those that really like the character. As you would know, I'm not the biggest fan of the character. I don't hate the character. I'm just like, yeah, he's just an, a mediocre character. But the show could do something really cool with him if given the right opportunity. And unfortunately, what we saw in season five wasn't the best. But yeah, we already knew he was in the episode. So these set photos aren't like mind blowing. Like, oh my God, it confirms it. Unlike the, um, you know, the ones from last season, which confirmed it. So we knew who was going to be in the episode. But as you can see here, we're just, we've got two set photos to go off. Um, one which shows uh, the Flash's front and one that shows the Flash's back. Now, we will start with the one that shows um, the Flash's back first because it's a better look at Godspeed because he actually has the mask on at this stage. But as you can see, he has like the like the meta cuffs on that I guess like he was also, he also had put on him in season five's episode as well. But we see it's not Nora standing over him. It's actually Barry Allen as the Flash. So he's standing over him. So we know that there's another villain in episode one called Bloodwork, but it seems that maybe... I don't know, it, it's sort of hard to tell, like, how big his role is going to be in episode one. Like, he could be the, you know, the main villain for the entire season, mm, but it, it, it's hard to tell about that. It, it's hard to tell if that's going to be the case as well. Um, but yeah, so we know that it's going to be, uh, going to be at least a Flash versus Godspeed fight. So that's really cool because that didn't happen in season five. It was Nora versus Godspeed. The Flash never interacted with Godspeed in the slightest. Not in, not even like saw a glance at him and went, a uh, glance at him and went, oh, okay, that's another speed star. Didn't even interact with him. It was all Nora. So the fact that we do get to see Barry as the Flash interact and, you know, fight Godspeed is cool. And I cannot wait to see that. I'm sure a lot of you guys can't wait to see it either. But if we do look at the second, um, uh, what do you want to call it? Like said photo where it shows the Flash's front, there's a couple of things that really are exciting because as you would know in season five as i was saying before godspeed was in the future in 2049 because that's where nora was but on set and in the scene and stuff are present day cars so they're going to be in the background so this confirms that it's in the present day it's not buried time traveling to the future to take on godspeed or anything like that this is set in present day so you know it's like, it's going to be super interesting to see how they make that work. Like, we've already theorized about how Godspeed could come back. You know, it could just be a, you know, a, a like a reaction or a change caused by what happened to the dagger and just the change in the timeline. Then maybe Godspeed is maybe a different person or is maybe like it's August Hart's dad or something like August Hart Senior or something in present day. And he's the one that becomes Godspeed and has the exact same suit. Or it could be something where maybe Godspeed was able to avoid being erased because he was traveling through time at the 
same time, I don't, something confusing like that, which could maybe make him still exist. It's going to be interesting to see how they make it make sense. He could be from another Earth. That's another theory that we chucked out there. But um, it's in present day. So whether it's a present day Godspeed or one from the future, we'll have to wait and see. But it's cool to see that he is there on set. Now, one thing that was a bit alarming is I'm pretty sure going from the front, it's it's not a very good image to go off. But if we look at the um, the set photo where it shows like the flash from the front where you can see his face and like Godspeed has his mask off. I'm pretty sure that's the same suit from season five. Like that doesn't have a chin strap. He's wearing the same like bicycle helmet thing, which could like, um, you know, raise alarm bells because it doesn't look like there's a chin, a chin strap there, uh, like a chin strap there at all. But this could maybe be something which happened between seasons or something, or it could be the case where maybe Barry gets the chin strap and maybe like a new part of the suit or maybe a completely new suit, which looks similar, but just has a chin strap partway through the season. So he might get it in like, I don't know, episode three or episode four, or even at the end of episode one. It could be a case where he gets it at the end of episode one, like we saw in, um, episode one of last season, like he rocked the, the season one suit for the whole episode. And then when they went to do the plane sequence, he got the new suit in the, in the ring. So they might do something like that where maybe he gets his chin strap suit at the end of episode one, or maybe happens in episode two, three, or some part in the early part of the season. But Grant Gustin's confirmed there's a chin strap. I think, I think it was someone in the costume department confirmed it to someone. I think it was like, yeah, someone, I know that someone in the costume department confirmed there's a new suit. They didn't say chin strap, but they said new suit um, coming. So it, it's going to be there. So don't worry if these set photos, it's coming. It just matters when, not if. So we just have to wait and see uh, when it pops up. In regards to Godspeed and his length on the show, like how long we should we like expect to see him on the show this season, you know, it's hard to tell because obviously at this point he's getting captured. So it could just be an episode one villain for like a speedster side of things. I think people would be disappointed if that was going to be the case again. Like, you know, it, it, as I said, it's hard to tell like what's going on here, whether, you know, Godspeed's like being set up as like a early, you know, first half of the season villain or if he's just going to be like an episode one villain and maybe re- a recurring villain throughout the season. It's hard to tell just off these set photos because it is literally just Godspeed, uh, Godspeed being taken down and having the cuffs on him. So, you know, I think we're lucky if you really, you are lucky, might I say, if you enjoy the character that you're getting him back because they could have easily just left him there in season five and gone, oh no, when, you know, we're done with the character. It was just, you, you had him, you had an episode called Godspeed, God, uh, Godspeed was there. They could have easily left it there if they wanted to. But I think we all thought that he was going to come back just because of that suit, like that suit was too well made, I think, just to waste him in an episode in, and also in an episode where he wasn't really the main focus. Like he was in maybe, I think we count, he's in like three scenes. And I think if you put it together, he's in like six minutes of the episode or something like that. So in like, you know, a 45 minute episode, that's not a lot. So I think we all knew he was going to come back. And if I had to put a bet on it, and I'm sure you guys will agree with this in the comments. Let me know your opinions down there, obviously. But I think we'll see him again. I don't think we'll just see him in episode one. Whether it's like he shows up in episode one and then maybe doesn't show up until like episode seven, then episode 13 or something like that. I think we'll see him a couple more times this season just based off the fact that his suit is so highly detailed. Now, also, there was rumors going around. Now, I don't think these are true, but I'm just chucking them out there because there were so many accounts talking about it. But there was rumors that, um, or there was rumors about Tom Felton being back on the Flash set, back as Julian Albert. Now there were people saying that it was him in the Godspeed suit. Now I don't think that's the case because I'm that doesn't look like Tom Felton to me. It, I'm pretty sure that's just probably just Ryan Hanley. I think that's the guy's name who is the stunt guy who played like Zoom in season two. Like he was the stunt guy for Zoom in season two. And he was like, uh, I think Prometheus and Arrow in season five. And he was also Godspeed last season. So I'm pretty sure he's just returning to being the stunt guy for Godspeed, like the guy who's actually in the suit. I don't think that's Tom Felton at all. Um, in regards to Julian Albert, like I'd be surprised if he came back onto the show and people are saying that he's, like he was saying he was in Canada and stuff, but I looked through his Instagram quickly and I think like, maybe like, I think like six hours before these set photos came out, he was in LA like walking his dog or something like that. So unless those posts were delayed or these set photos were from like a two days ago or something that just, you know, took their time to get out there, which I don't think was the case. I really don't think Tom Felton is back as Jul- back as Julian Albert, sorry, at this stage. He could be later in the season. He could be later in the season. Um, but at this stage, I don't think he's on set filming for the show. So yeah, there's rumors going out there. I wouldn't believe them just because there's a lot of evidence going against it, but he could show up later in the season 
who knows? But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. This is a bit of a rushed one uh, just because these set photos came out. I was like, well, it's almost midnight and I need to make this video and then go to bed. So um, yeah, but obviously if you enjoyed the video, it would be awesome if you could drop a like and it shows you support. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you think is going on with this Godspeed stuff? Are you just excited to have him back there? Like we already knew he was in the episode, but just to see like, I guess some actual photographical evidence is cool. But also what are your thoughts on like the lack of chin strap? I, it's going to eventually come but it's just that we're not going to start the season off with it. That's, I guess, what we're going off here. But yeah, leave all of your opinions down there in the comments. And um, yeah, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.